today I want to talk about woundedness. You know, we've all been wounded in our lives. So it might be something small like a splinter. Could be when you fall down and you scrape your knee, or you crash your bike. Could be a sprained wrist. You might have even broken a bone before. And usually when that happens, you can see some physical sign on your body that you've been hurt, right? Usually your family helps you with that. There's also another type of pain though, and that's emotional pain. And that has to deal with your feelings. So when you have emotional pain, you can't see that on the outside, it's on the inside. And that might be something like being excluded from something at school, or this has happened in our house before, your mom accuses you of something that you didn't do, and she sent you to your room many times. <laughs> Somebody shouts at you, or somebody's unkind to you, somebody's teasing you. Those all cause wounds inside of you that you can't see. So, you know, you could be just walking around all beat up, feeling so sad inside. That's just made up, okay? <laughs> and on the outside, you look like this, and nobody knows that you're struggling. Nobody knows that you're broken on the inside. So, nobody in this room is a turtle. Nobody. When a turtle is about to have babies, the turtle goes down and digs a hole and puts all the eggs in the hole, and then the turtle mom is like, she's out of there. So when those little turtles hatch, they're just on their own, all by themselves, trying to make their way down to the water, right? But you're human, so when you're born, God put you into a family. And you have your family, and you have your friends, and you have people in your community, like your coaches and your teachers, and those people are there to help you with physical pain and also emotional pain. And I'll tell you that if you don't learn how to do that when you're younger, as you're growing, sometimes those things that happen to that emotional pain, they're a really big deal. And you're not able to share that with others because you don't have the practice of telling other people when your feelings are hurt or when you're sad inside. So that's really important. And this week, I want you to practice, even if something small happens, that you share that with another person. Share it with your parents, or with your friends, or one of those people in the community that you trust, because really, it makes a big difference. All right, let's pray. Gracious God, the big healer, help us to know that sharing the pain that we have inside is so important, because we don't want to be walking around wounded, struggling, <coughs> in pain, when other people in our lives could be there to help us. We know that it's important to talk to you about things that are going on in our lives, but that you also put all the people in our lives who are there to help us when we are, when we're struggling, and that it makes a difference. Amen.